mae canolfannau bwyd cynaliadwy lleol, yn cynnig bwyd sy'n ddau bobl, yn ddau ramgylchedd, a hefyd yn ddau gynhyrchwyl lleol, am ei bod nhw'n hybu cadwyni bwyd byr. Anghenion a diddordebau pobl leol, a hefyd yr hyn yma tîr lleol yn gallu cynhyrchu sydd yn dylanwadu ar natur canolfannau bwyd, felly mae pob un yn unigryw. Ond er fod canolfannau bwyd yn amrywiol, mae yna rhywbeth sy'n gyffredin iddyn nhw i gyd, sef ei bod nhw'n dwyn ynghyd amrywiaeth o fwydydd a diodydd gan nifer o gynhyrchwyr lleol, gall rhain gael ei archebu ar lein a'i dosbarthu wedyn i siopwyr a ffrynwyr lleol. Mae canolfannau bwyd yn addasu'n gyflym i anghenion eu cymunedau lleol. Er enghraifft, bydd rhai yn rhoi pwyslais ar sicrhau bod pobl ar un cwmisel yn gallu cael bwyd lleol, iach, tra bydd rhai eraill yn gweithredu fel co-ops marchnata ar gyfer cynhyrchwyr lleol. Datblygodd canolfannau bwyd i fod yn boblogaidd iawn yn ystod y pandemig, ac mae nhw nawr yn addasu er mwyn darganfod ffyrdd i sicrhau y gall pawb ar rhai i ffordio prynu bwyd iach sy'n cynnal yr economi leol ac yn llesol i'r ymgylchedd. Fel rhan o'r prosiect Maneg Gwyrdd Gwydn, mae gweithwyr y tir wedi gweithio mewn partneriaeth gyda'r Open Food Network, Social Farms and Gardens a chymdeithas ymdiriedoliaethau datblygu Cymru er mwyn cyfnogi pump o ganolfannau bwyd bleingar yng Nghymru. I'm Tina Castry, I'm the Food Hub Manager of the Peninsula Producers Food Hub. My name is Gwenllian and I'm the Food Hub Coordinator at Rhor 7 Hendergrys. A lwys ydw i, a dwi yn cydlynu cadwyn o gwan, sef cadwyn o gynhyrchwyr bach lleol yn y fan drydan o gwmpas dy ffrin o gwan. And then we've got Nick. Really passionate about getting local food out to local people within this area. But I really think that just getting the knowledge out there that it's normal food for normal people, but from the local area. And we just need to get the knowledge out there that that is not a strange thing. You can buy bread from the hub, you can buy it from a local person in the local area. We just need to make people aware of that. Dwi mwynhau gweithio fy amrywiaeth eang o gynhyrchwyr a gweld y prosiect yma yn digwydd yn lleol. Mae'n gyffroes iawn i weithio fewn systemau bwyd cynaladwy a mae'n galonogol i feddwl am ddyfodol positif ar gyfer y systemau bwyd lleol yma. Dwi yn caru i'r cynnyrch. Dwi wedi stopio mynd i archfechnadwy. Dwi'n mynd prynu unrhyw rhyw bys dwi'n mwy. Dwi'n dwi'n bitsa ni ach, bitsa bwyd lleol. A dwi'n caru gallu nabod y bobl sy'n tyfu'r bwyd dwi'n bitsa. My name is Alma and uh, and I'm Sam. We uh, run Kaidiad CIC. As as we were planning how are we going to access the community here, the food hub had been around for about a year. I got talking to Dan Jones and he was really supportive. A couple of meetings with him and you, we he showed us how it worked and it was really simple. Within a week we were selling. Yeah, a sort of trying to create like a whole system based on no dig, based on regenerative agriculture. We really like variety and diversity and this allows us to grow a little bit of everything. On the Thursday we know exactly what we're harvesting so we don't over harvest, we don't pull things out of the ground that we don't need. Um, everything's cut fresh on a Friday and given to people on a Saturday. Yeah, uh, my name's Dan, Dan Jones. Um, I'm a manager at Triganis Farm, Farm City Children, one of the producers, but also uh, the person who set the um, food hub up back in uh, July 2020. Uh, at the farm at Lower Triganis, we sent goodbye to the children in, uh, in March 2020. Then it became evident that the children weren't coming back, and obviously the food that we planted was to, was to feed the children in, uh, in the farm. Another guy I work with uh, called Alan, he heard about this open food network, and we looked into it. We set it up with a couple of producers, and it was just in the car park out there, just with a white van, and Maybe we had two producers the first week and about four orders and then three producers, six orders and it just really grew sort of organically. Uh, my name is Dan and I'm a self-employed small business owner. The fact that we're feeling like